go make another ore extractor in the aluminum field. Drink another water, put one on us. And then I think I might go back and search for that other little hideout bunker. Now that we have more speed, might be able to find it a lot easier now. But I'll have to wait till it's light out. Oh, and we did give it time. I bet you that ice wall is either melted or close to being melted. All right, we don't need to pick green beans or squash anymore. We can just eat them right out of the thing. Let's go check what that ice wall looks like. I knew there was a gold chest. Okay, so that one is right here on the edge. Sort of this back corner of the aluminum field. And I still forgot to make that tier 2 uh, torch. Man, I can't remember to do that to save my life. Speaking of saving my life, Probably shouldn't have dilly-dallied about the uh, darn golden crate. Oh, we'll make it. We'll make it. We're good. Geronimo! And the wall is gone. Which means, I bet you the other one in the Osmium Cave is gone too. So we can go take a look at that. More osmium, thank goodness. So the game is going to give you a decent amount of uh, osmium, so that's good. What I wish it were giving me was tons of uh, super alloy. So I think I might, because I never finished going through that one uh, crash site where all the ledges were and I was farming super alloy earlier. Okay. I'm happy with that. A little haul of uh, osmium. I have to take this stuff back to base and then hit up that other osmium cave and see what uh, what treasures lie in there because I cannot remember for the life of me how much <clears throat> osmium I needed for the ore 2 or extractor 2 I know it's uh, two iridium rods But that is all I can remember. So the plan is drop this off, go to Osmium Cave, go check to see what that has. Yeah, I bet you that um, Osmium Cave goes deeper and that there's more Osmium down at the bottom. There we go. So I believe at this point we've melted all the ice that blocks off things. Rocket engine! Yeah!
Um, this is a new biome. I have not seen this. Whoa! This is not in the regular um, game. This is in the dev uh, dev build of it. I must explore. What is this? Just when you think like, you've like fully figured out and mastered everything that's in a game. I mean they've got it they gotta put something cool in here. I mean, I like the super alloy. It keeps going? Osmium, okay. Well, I want to be safe. I want to get a little bit more air, and then we're going to cut straight across. I want to see where that goes. This is sweet. I really need to make sure I'm uh, getting these edits out <laughs> and getting these episodes done, because I really want to show off cool stuff like this. Yeah, had I not been playing the dev build. Okay. Back outside. One more titanium, there we go. Okay, so there's the opening. Pretty sure I saw the sand wall over there. the formation of the rocks in here. That is cool. It's another Osmium cave. Does it connect to the other one and I just didn't see it? Oh my gosh. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to need to come in here with a lot of abilities to build uh, living quarters. So 
that's how I get back into there. But, if that's the sand wall, quick, uh, quick return trip. Well, alrighty then. I must explore further. Drop off my inventory. Because it looked like it just kept going and going. Full of osmium. Full of seeds. Full of sulfur. Two rockets. I'm going to make two oxygen bottles just in case. Because I know I saw enough. There was enough um, titanium and stuff. All, all, all the ingredients I needed. But see, this is what's cool. Like Getting to explore something new. Because I have to wait for other stuff to happen. Three iron, two titanium, and a silicone. I should still gather some more though. That way I can make two structures if needed. Okay, that should be enough iron. Here's another silicone. Titanium. I should have enough to build two. See, I'm curious too, like following those little rock formations up there. Well, I guess that's sort of what I did. It looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff out there. But I want to finish seeing where this goes. Alright, so I have... So that dead ends. This kept going. Okay. Pulsar Quartz! Okay. So, we found two Pulsar Quartz in that cave. That's pretty sweet. Trying to be thorough, make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so that's the one dead end I went down. So that's if you stay to the left. So this time I want to go to 
to the right. Pulsar Quartz. Fertilizer. Okay, so that that might be it. Oh, but that's okay. That is enough to build the um, fusion reactor, which I don't have unlocked yet. But one day I shall. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a full container for osmium. just keeps going this what I think oh, I knew it I knew it I knew I recognize that like valley area down there That is cool. We found pulsar quartz. Oh, this takes you up to the um, sulfur field. There it is. I already have the stuff. It's like I do not want to lose this thing again. All right, so here are the coordinates. And it's right next to this rock and that ship. Our ship has crashed for unknown reason on this planet. Many of us died on impact. Some of us died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is getting low. I'm going outside one last time to try to find some water. Iclus. 3037. So that other one was 3038. Rocket engine. Mushroom. Aluminum. Alright, well, we'll be able to find it now. So that was cool. We found that too. Man, we're rocking and rolling here. So I will say, it is theoretically possible that that stuff was there the whole time and that I just completely missed it. It is possible. I'm not saying that's likely, but uh, I guess if you know in, in the comments, you know, let me know if I. I just completely missed it, or if I uh, am correct that, that there's something that's only part of the dev branch. I'd just be curious. Some more seeds, another rocket engine, pulsar quartz. May the quartz be with you. That, that was a bad joke, but I, I, I love that movie so much. I'm getting, getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Things are going well. All right, uh, silicone over here. Cobalt. Drop 
off the uranium. So this one looks like. Okay, seems to light up a bigger, bigger area. Let's see what we got going on here. 40 oxygen, 58 heat, 7.6 pressure. All right, just a quick update. I have gotten my pressure building a little bit better. 11.6, 11.61. So it is building a little bit uh, quicker now. I built several more T4 uh, pressure extractors. Show you what I got here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven T4 extractors. That's been a lot of work. But I've also had to start gathering all these resources together. And you can see now my iron's full. My titanium, not very good. My cobalt, not very good. Um, th this has been from me cleaning out the, the stock. So what I need to do now is I need to build something that I can use for when I have tons of overflow of something. And that is going to be the shredder machine. I'm pretty sure I have another powder I do. So putting the shredder machine down, I should be able to take any excess. And eventually, um, I will have one of these next to every one of my um, resource extractors basically if I have an extra resource I, op I open it throw it in there and if I hit that button it destroys what's in it so it's a good way for me to keep everything clean while still collecting because this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing as that pressure builds uh, I have noticed that uh, the ground is getting greener which is nice but I'm full of iron now I could build another like multiples of storage but do I really need more than one full locker of iron I don't think I do especially with all these extractors so I clean out the extractors all oh, the things are looking green like that's a very recent change right there. It wasn't green before. So here we can see I'm full of iron, so I can't put any more iron in. Titanium. We stock that up. So I'm just going to go down the list and keep stocking my lockers up. Until I fill them. Now iridium, that's a different story. So with iridium, I'm just gonna make iridium rods. I'll need those for those uh, miners when I get them. So there we go. These iron, I don't need them. And I go back out again. And this time I'm gonna go to the sulfur extractor. By the time I finish that, hopefully the uh, aluminum extractors have got more. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep going through that process and cleaning these and taking the stuff. And then at a certain point, I'll put those shredders by each uh, one of the machines because then I'm just going to pull out, like for this one, I would just go here and get the sulfur. If I had everything else, then why carry back? Like I'm getting two, two sulfur out of that. So I'd take everything else and junk it. If you tell me to junk it one more time. Junk it down! 